camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, good morning. It is August 19th uh, here at the Chill Spot. Yep. I'm excited. I am too. Getting closer and closer and closer to conference. Yes. And what are yes. we calling this show today? Well, it's actually called Come and Listen. Come and Listen. Yeah. Come and, and listen to uh, us or what? Well, actually, um, John Willard, the gentleman poet. Oh, from uh, CNA Stories TV. from the Heart. Yeah. Yes. The um, storyteller. Yeah. He's going to be back um, with us again. By um, popular this demand, year. I must say. He was awesome. We had a lot of great, uh, he had a lot of great, uh, what do you call those? Oh, evaluations. Yeah. Um, people loved him, wanted to mm -hmm. see him back. Uh, yeah. He did a, a presentation, a little talk, and mm -hmm. uh, gosh, I think we even had, didn't you guys host a bonfire? Yeah, and we, um, everyone was laughing. Um, they were eating some Naka s'mores. Yep, made s'mores at the bonfire, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm surprised we got out of there without anybody that's true. It was kind of dark. <laughs> it was very dark there. It's I think dark. this year, the gentleman poet, due to his advanced age, would like not to climb down into the hollow in the that's dark. That's true. And that's I true. believe we're going to have his story time uh, a night at the atrium. Uh, we still may find a way to do some knock of s'mores or some other things. We'll, we'll figure we'll, it out. We'll figure it yeah, out. We'll have popcorn yeah. or something. But some of my um, favorite stories um, that I can go back and listen to over and over again is, for one, the Ozark, oh, yeah. the Unsung Heroes, and Grandma the Saint. Oh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. That one was a great one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John puts so much into his shows. Uh, he's so conscientious about yeah. the preparation and everything. And he's been planning this conference since he left last conference. Since he conference. left the last Yeah, one. yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're excited to have John Willard back, the gentleman poet. Yeah. Um, there's something um, about all the stories. Um, they touch your heart. They make you smile. They make you cry. And sometimes you can, I, when I'm listening to him, it's like I'm nodding my head like this in agreement to what mm -hmm. he's, he's talking there. about on the show. Look at and him. I know he, he's cute as a bug in a rug. He is, isn't he? Though? <laughs> he is. He even had some uh, pictures that he was actually autographing. So maybe um, he can have some pictures again oh, this yeah, coming year and get He's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. We'll have some photos there of the mm -hmm. gentleman poet. Yeah. So um, besides the gentleman poet, um, we have some good speakers. They're coming out of the woodwork this year. Yeah, we, we really do. We have more speakers than we have mm -hmm. slots this year. So uh, <laughs> we got kind of a wild lineup, but it's going to be a fabulous event. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing is just that we're all there together and getting to see you know, all of us in one right. place. CNAs often feel so individualized. Mm -hmm. Nobody notices me. Uh, you know, just last week I heard a CNA talking about how much extra effort she puts out, but it has never made the recognition board. Mm -hmm. So when you think recognition is not important, think again. Recognition is important. And so uh, I told her, I said, you go out there and get you some. You tell them you have never seen your name on that board and here's what you've done. That's right. uh, it doesn't mean less if you go after it. No, you need to Because again, to people be have those blind, blinders right. on. They don't always see what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. They're so caught up in their own world. That's right. So um, be proud of what, um, what you do. Um, some people may call it bragging. Some people may call it brown nosing. But if you are proud of what you do, stand up, just like Lori said, and, and proud be, of your own service. Start you keeping betcha. track you of betcha. the lives you're changing. CNAs you don't, they aren't able to tell a story because you don't know how important you are. That's right. Your story is so valuable. Last year we collected, I don't know, probably 60, 70 yeah. CNA stories. Mm -hmm. uh, not quite enough to make a book, but we're keeping mm -hmm. uh, we're keeping that up and trying to get some more. And we'll ask this year again for any of our attendees to, to write to a do. story because you're not keeping track of how many lives you've changed. 
How many CNAs have NAs have you trained that have become That's right. CNAs? That's right. How many caregivers have you trained in assisted living that are there now caring for? I keep track of the ones who stay, not the ones who lose. That's right. Who That's leave, right. it's who, right. who stays. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on the good. Yeah. And get down there to CNA Fest and see John That's Willard right. along with me and our board members mm -hmm. and the rest of the speaker yeah. lineup. And uh, when you see Lori or any of the board members, please come by. Um, introduce yourself to us um, let us know where you're from um, we would love to have the opportunity to sit down and, and uh, chat with you if you have any concerns please bring them um, to our attention we are here to um, to help you learn to help you grow and um, as a member of the board you guys are my customers and I want to hear from you I want to know what we can do um, to make this association bigger than than ever before. So please and reach out who, to us. Who's going to guide it in the future yeah. to the promised land? Who's your next CNA, uh, CEO going to be? Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, and the in addition to seeing the gentleman poet down at CNA Fest, you can catch him weekly here on CNA TV and yeah. on his show, Stories from the Heart by the Gentleman Poet. So That's true. be sure and to tune in besides just to the chill spot here with Corinne and I. And uh, we've got a whole lineup of good programs. CNA Heroes, boy, that's getting a lot of traction. Yes. I think Lisa told yeah. me her last She's Heroes awesome. story got five over 500 likes. It's really yeah. exciting on mm -hmm. CNA Heroes when she's able to uh, track down the person who doesn't even know they're in the spotlight right. or their employer or their family. I know one of the CNA heroes was a young CNA who passed away yeah. and she was able to find her mother mm -hmm. and I'm telling you that thing went viral throughout their family. Mm -hmm. It was something that was so very meaningful. Diagnosed no one else is doing what we're doing to advance the profession of CNAs. No one is doing right. what we're doing. The one that Gary has up right now, that really touched my heart because it wasn't all about her and her time of need, it was about spreading the word about smoking, mm -hmm. um, how important and stuff it was. And well, I know it's, it spoke to me because mm -hmm. um, not to mention a beautiful soul and, mm -hmm. and life was going her way finally and, and what a tragedy. But right. yep, we, uh, we got to keep looking out for each other and recognizing the heroes among us That's and true. you need to recognize yourself. Yeah. So those of you that are going to be with us uh, next week or week and a half down the road at yep. CNA Fest, uh, come and listen. Come and listen to the Gentleman Poet and yeah. to all of the rest yeah. of us. And until we see you again, remember, remember you, you matter. matter.